This question is a product rule. We're computing the t derivative and I'm going to rewrite it. You can write it as d dt of this whole thing. And this dy dt, that is the same as d dt of y. And all I'm going to do is write the other version of y, the useful version of y in here t squared plus 6t plus 7. I notice my t's look a little too much like my plus. You need to be careful. I usually don't write a plus with a little foot. There we go. Times 2t squared plus 2. All right, we have a product rule. uv prime is u prime v plus uv prime. So what we're looking at is u and v, and the derivative is written as a prime, or could be written as a prime. And this equals u prime v, I'm intentionally spacing this out really wide, plus uv prime. All right, we're ready to compute these. Well, let me write them out first, we'll compute them in a second. u is t squared plus 6t plus 7, that's u prime times v, 2t squared plus 2. So that is u prime v, right there, plus u, so that's t squared, plus 6t plus 7, times, that one is not primed, times 2t squared plus 2. This one is primed, and that is the Second two right there. I'll just underline that twice. All right, now ready to actually take these derivatives. So derivative of the first, t squared is 2t. You're splitting it across addition here. Plus 6 times t to the 0 power. Plus derivative of 7, derivative of any constant is 0. So I'm not even going to write that. So I just copy down two, t squared plus 2. There's no derivative on that. Copying down the t squared plus 6t plus 7. Now derivative of the second term, t squared derivative is 2t. So it's 2 times 2t, which of course is 4t, plus 2 derivative. And derivative of 2 is 0. So that's all we have. Depending on what you're doing, this may be a completely okay form to leave it in. You may want to distribute it. And looks like your highest power of t is t cubed, so you could do that. Uh, I always say you can do algebra before or after calculus. So here I did pretty much no algebra, only calculus. What I could have done first is multiplied this right here, you do want to be careful it's not quite foiling because you have three terms times two terms. So you're going to get six terms when you multiply. There'll probably be some common powers of 10 you can reduce. That's not good. There should be some common powers of t that you could reduce. And then you can avoid the product rule in your derivative. So it's up to you. Depends on what you're doing. Depends on the initial problem. Maybe that the multiplication is incredibly difficult. So maybe it's easier to use the product rule. And really, you should be able to use the product rule, simplify it, uh, expand it and simplify it, or multiply it, simplify it, and then take the derivative. You should be able to uh, go either way.